Hey guys, with Halloween just around the corner, I wanted to arm you with a dessert idea that I think would be perfect for the occasion. It's my chocolate marble bundt cake with chocolate glaze. Now this was an idea that was given to me by my Aunt Nancy, who came to visit me this summer, and she and I were waxing on about how delicious my grandmother's pound cake recipe is, and she said, oh, have you tried it with chocolate? You can marbleize it, and it's even better. <laughs> I thought that was a fantastic idea, and thought, what a fun idea for Halloween. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so in a bowl of an electric mixture, we're going to cream together one cup of softened butter and two and a half cups of sugar. You're just gonna let that go until it's nice and fluffy. You really don't wanna skip this step because this is what is also going to add a lot of air into this batter. So I let it go for about five minutes. And then to that, we're going to add six room temperature eggs. That does sound like a lot of eggs, but it is what makes this cake really light and fluffy and gives it such great texture. So you're just gonna add them one at a time, scraping down the bowl between each addition. And then lastly, we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then in a separate bowl, we're going to add all of our dry ingredients. We're gonna take two and three quarters cup of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of baking soda. Go ahead and just whisk that up until everything's combined. Then you wanna measure out one cup of sour cream. You do wanna use the full fat, because again, that's what's gonna make this cake so delicious. So don't try to get any of that light sour cream. That's not as good. Then we are going to add our dry ingredients in thirds, alternating with the sour cream. So you just put in a little of the dry ingredients, give it a beat, then add a spoonful or two of the sour cream, and repeat that process until everything is mixed and combined. Then once it's all ready to go, we are going to separate this batter into two bowls, just evenly. You can just go ahead and eyeball it, doesn't need to be perfect. And in one batter, we're going to keep it just the way it is, that's going to be the vanilla side. And then in the other bowl, we are going to add eight ounces of melted bittersweet chocolate. Go ahead and just give that a stir. Don't beat it too heavily because you know you wanna keep that lightness of the batter. Okay, so now you've got your vanilla and you've got your chocolate. We have our sprayed bundt pan. This is how this is all gonna work. We're gonna take two ice cream scoops and we're gonna put one in the chocolate side and one in the vanilla side. And then we're just going to alternate with the batter, a chocolate scoop, then a vanilla scoop, then a chocolate scoop, and you're gonna go all the way around the bundt pan and then you're gonna do a second layer and really the rule of thumb is anywhere there's a chocolate, you're gonna put a vanilla on top. Anywhere there's a vanilla, you put a chocolate on top. You just wanna alternate to make sure that we're gonna get nice marbling. And then when you're all done, you're gonna take a knife and just run it through these little batter balls in a circular fashion. Now don't overdo it. This is the real key that I've learned with this cake. If you do too many circular patterns, you're gonna mix up that batter and you're not gonna get the dramatic marbling. So really just a gentle touch is all it takes. Then you're gonna put this cake in a 350 degree oven for just about 45 minutes. You do wanna check it maybe at 40 minutes just with a long skewer to make sure it's all cooked inside. And you can take it out and allow it to cool completely. And once it is cool, you can go ahead and reverse it onto a cooling rack and you won't see much of the dramatic marbling yet. You're gonna see that when we cut into it in a minute. But now we wanna make the chocolate ganache that's gonna go on top of the cake. So in a small saucepan, you're going to add six ounces of semi-sweet chocolate and a half a cup of heavy cream or whipping cream. Go ahead and just heat that up until all of the chocolate is melted and combined. Then you're gonna take your cooling rack with your cake on it and put it in a sheet pan. This will help to catch all the chocolate drippings when we go to glaze the cake. And then with a ladle, just go ahead and pour that chocolate ganache over the top of the cake and let gravity do the rest. And you'll see you'll end up with these really beautiful chocolate drippings all around the side of the cake. And at this point, you could stop right there. Or if you really love nuts, another good thing to do would be to add a little bit of chopped pecans on the top. Just gives it a little bit of texture and makes it feel kind of fall and Halloween-like. I love this cake idea for Halloween because it's really dramatic when you put it on a fun cake stand and then when you cut into it, it looks a little spooky and eerie. It's also so delicious because it is moist and light and very chocolatey. This is a fantastic pound cake recipe. I have to give my grandmother credit. She knew what she was doing. And if you also wanna see a lemon variety of this cake, you can head on over to my garden channel and there I show you how to make this cake with a lemon flavor, which is quite good too. 
All right, you guys, I hope you give this one a try and let me know what you think. And I will see you back here next week for another delicious and easy recipe. Until then, bye.